Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will review an easy and practical car head unit. It comes with a lot of cool features and costs only $99. Yes, it's a complete value for money. So let's start the unboxing and find out more about it. It comes in a compact box with a clear picture of CarPlay head unit. It's a 10.2 inch colorful display with an odd 1600 x 600p resolution. On the side, it has all the ports like GPS port, an SD card slot, an auxiliary cable port and lastly a USB type C charging port. Build quality is standard plastic and feels quite lightweight. There's a big red color glue cover for the stand. There's a 4K front camera which is quite impressive and can be used as a dash cam. There's also two speakers on the side of the camera. The dashboard stand is adjustable. On the top there is power button. In terms of battery it has a small 3.7 watt 600 mAh battery. Inside the box you get long auxiliary cables, the main cigarette ignition 12 watt charging unit with USB type C on the other side to provide power. You also get two additional ports, one to add auxiliary cable and also an additional USB port. There is also a rear camera with 1080p resolution and a huge cable to take it from front side of the car to the rear all the way. They have also added a screw and a glue inside the box for fixing which is quite thoughtful. You also get a complete guide of instructions. So this is all what you get inside the box. I didn't set up the rear camera on my car as I already have one installed before. This unit supports both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I couldn't find out about its processing power and RAM and also regarding the Android version it's running. Now let's see how it works. The setup was quite easy inside my car. I'm just a little bit worried about the glue fitting with my bumpers though. I'm afraid it might come off with bumps on the road. The interface is quite minimal. You have the recorder, replay, mobile internet, audio and settings. The front camera will open and you can record in 4K. All the recordings will go in the SD card. You can take a picture while recording as well. Lock the camera, use voice control. Also you can swap cameras front and back at the same time. Unfortunately I did not set up the rear camera as I'm already using another one. But this can be a cool feature. Replay button will allow you to see your recordings. Mobile internet connection can be made between your smartphone and the car head unit. When you click on audio it gives you a couple of options. You can use individual dual speakers of the Cycane head unit or connect with the car stereo with either auxiliary cable or wirelessly by Bluetooth. When you click on settings, you get lots of options. Let me first show you the model number. It is an LG LCD panel of 1690 into 600p resolution. You can also change the camera resolution to 4K or 1080p. Change the CarPlay position to either left or right side or full screen. During daytime, you can change the brightness settings to left or right or full. From the main menu. Volume adjustment can also be done from the main screen. You must connect to car stereo speakers via Bluetooth as the sound from the head unit speakers are quite tinny and lacks bass. You also get FM radio options and you can change the channel by pressing plus or minus tabs. Now let's connect to the smartphone by pressing the mobile internet icon. Now here you have the CarPlay, Android Auto, Apple AirPlay, Android Mirror, Bluetooth Music Play options. Now let's choose Apple AirPlay by clicking on it. Now click on confirm. Now here in my iPhone Bluetooth settings, this is the car head unit. Bluetooth name is TF790BT. Just tap on it. As you can see here the same device name. It even shows a password in case if you can't connect by any chance. So now it shows connected here. Once Bluetooth is connected, click on CarPlay. You will see this pop up. Click on confirm. It's a bit slow to be honest but here we are. The Apple CarPlay is running on the head unit. You can see all my CarPlay apps like dialer, music, maps, message and settings. Let's use the dialer option and see how it works. The interface is a bit laggy and touch response takes some time. So I'm calling my home. Ah, do you Kia? Contract. And as you can see the sound is quite decent and connection is quite good. You have the Waze navigation app. You can use any location and the app will work smoothly. Let's listen to the music now from both car studio and head unit Bluetooth speaker. You can use maps while music playing in the background. 
you can reply messages with Siri and also use WhatsApp chat. It's not very smooth, it's a bit laggy and slow, but does the job. So guys, here we have a decent car head unit by Saikane for just $100 and with lots of cool features. For this price, I would say it's a good value for money, but don't expect a powerhouse performance. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. See you all soon in my next one. Till then, goodbye, peace and blessings.